Two years ago, the Einstein tile made international headlines. It's the first shape that can be used to cover a surface without gaps and so that the pattern never repeats. Finally, an entertaining way to tile your infinite bathroom. More amazing still, a group of chemists now found an Einstein tile in the real world, kind of. Let's have a look. Mathematicians, artists and scientists likewise have been fascinated for millennia by patterns that fill a plane without gaps, called tilings or tessellations. There are three regular polygons that'll do it in the plane, triangles, squares and hexagons. And then there are many combinations of polygons that also work. But these patterns have one thing in common, they repeat. They're what's called a periodic tiling. But there are also tilings that don't repeat, not ever. The simplest of those are Penrose tilings, named after Roger Penrose, who discovered them in the 1970s. Or did he invent them? Let's not go down that rabbit hole. Whatever the nature of mathematics, in 1982, the chemist Dan Schechtman discovered quasi-crystals that realized Penrose tilings in nature. Schechtman's discovery was originally met with great skepticism because quasi-crystals weren't supposed to be possible. But he was right, they're real. And not only that, but quasi-crystals also have a bunch of properties that turned out to be super useful, such as durable surface protection, non-stick coatings, or thermal insulation. In 2011, Schechtman received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for it. The Einstein tile now was discovered or invented by the computer scientist David Smith in 2023. The name is a pun on the German meaning of Einstein's name, which literally translates to one stone. It's the first aperiodic monotile, that is, the entire plane can be filled with this one tile without it ever repeating. The question of whether this was even possible had been bugging mathematicians for more than 60 years, but now you can can buy Einstein tile puzzles. For the Einstein tile to work though, the tile has to sometimes be turned around. To get a rough idea for how this works, have a look at this colored image, which is super useful. See how the tiles collect into these bigger triangular shapes? These bigger shapes don't fit perfectly together. To make them fit, you have to constantly shift them and fill in the spaces between. This is why the pattern doesn't repeat. Just a month after the announcement of the Einstein tile, the group around Smith put out another paper that showed there is another shape that aperiodically tiles the plane that doesn't have to be turned around. Seeing how useful Penrose tilings turned out to be in their natural form as quasi-crystals, it's obvious to ask if not the monotile would also show up in the real world. And this has now happened. A group of Swiss researchers has just reported that they saw a molecule spontaneously assemble itself into a non-periodic surface cover that looks very similar to the Einstein tile. It's not that the molecule itself looks like the Einstein tile, but it behaves similarly. It's a pretty big molecule with a star-shaped hydrocarbon in the middle and three molecular spiral arms. These arms can spiral into two directions, so it's a chiral molecule. It it doesn't have two sides as the Einstein tile, but it has two different versions because of these spirals' orientation. The scientists notice that when deposited on a silver surface, the molecules self-assemble into triangular domains. But the combination of the two chiralities of the molecules never repeats. They just form increasingly more complex patterns. The reason is that the chiralities of these spiral arms don't smugly fit together in any regular combination. Instead, they create what the researchers call a triangular offsetting, which is very similar to how it works with the Einstein tile. It's also interesting from a physics perspective, because the assembly process is driven by randomness. It's only if the molecule
molecules can move around for a bit that they find this aperiodic yet still most optimal configuration. In some sense, it's the entropy and the motion of the molecules that creates this complex order. So on the one hand, it's a fascinating combination of entropy, order and complexity. And on the other hand, it's a junction of physics, maths and chemistry. It makes me wonder whether they would have noticed what they were looking at if the Einstein tile had not made headlines two years ago. Though I want to add a word of caution, they didn't actually prove that the pattern never repeats. I mean, it's not like they can synthesize an infinite plane, but it does look very similar to the properties of the Einstein tile. And much like quasi-crystals, this could become very useful for material design. This chemical monotile could have new electronic, optic or even mechanical properties. Maybe there'll even be another Nobel Prize for it. I mean, which airline wouldn't want to know how to fill a plane without gaps? To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and how to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their data science courses, which they just released. They all use real-world examples like what it means to go viral on X. Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on algebra or large language models, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.